how y'all doing today? This is K. Happy Saturday morning. As y'all know, I already done been to food line. Woo! And I got my TV on in the back, but I got it on low. So I had to go get me a little small haul. I didn't have too much of nothing in here to snack on. So, I went over here. Show you my little small haul. I only spent 20, 20 something dollars. Got me some uh, bananas. You know, I got food, but I just ain't got no no snacks. And I said, I'm trying to go healthy a little bit, but you know, I had to give me something. It tied me over for the weekend. Told you I'm resting all weekend long. And, um, uh, I'm chilling. And then Monday, I'll be back on the grind. Yep. So I'm gonna get it all in. I'm gonna keep my bags. I almost ran out of bags. Okay, now let's see what we got here. I'm gonna have to take y'all back a little bit. That's my coffee over there going. You know I hadn't had my coffee this morning either. Okay, so I got me some party. Party mix snacks. Y'all know I love these. And I got me some spinach. These go $1.69 a can. And then I got uh, the bananas. Because I'm going to do me some oatmeal this morning. I'm going to make me some homemade oatmeal. Put some raisins and bananas in. I got to get some protein in my life. And I got me some fat back. I got plans for this. I think I'm going to do me some beans in my crock pot. You know, so I get my protein. You know what I mean? All right. Because I've been doing a lot of crazy eating this, this weekend. Okay, and I got these, y'all. They got some apple apple and cinnamon fruit bars. They're $1.79. You get eight of them in here. Eight in the box. So I got me some um, strawberry. I got the strawberry flavor. And I got the apple cinnamon flavor. So that's 16 bars. Like if I don't want to make no big old breakfast like I always do. And you know I can go ahead and eat me a little fruit bar or something. And drink me a protein drink. I got me some lemon juice. to put this in my tea. And I wash off my chicken. And uh. Ooh. And I didn't have no milk. So I went and got me some milk. I got cereal in there. And this is for my oatmeal. You know I like to put uh. Sugar, milk, and cinnamon. Sugar, milk, cinnamon, butter, and your um, oatmeal. And, of course, you know, I got my tub of spinach for my salads. I love spinach, y'all. And plus, it's good for you. And, let's see, that's my receipts. Let me keep them in there because I got some coupons on them. But, yeah, we're going to get into the daily bread this morning. Y'all know I'm going to get it in. I was going to, you know, cook my breakfast first and all that, but... And that'll be okay. Let me just slide all this stuff to the side. And I'm going to sit right here. Oh, and I got me um, some different flavors of the oodles and noodles. The creamy chicken, chili, oriental chicken, pork. I mean, not pork. Uh, roast beef. All kind of flavors. That's for when I don't feel like cooking. Or some chaps come by and they gotta want a snack. Well, there it is. Honey, oodles and noodles come in handy. Okay, y'all gonna have to go with me because I got to get my coffee. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I went on ahead and walked uh, to the store. And it ain't gonna take me but a second to make this coffee, y'all. Then we're gonna get the daily bread in. Yeah, I'm not organized. Oops. I'm never organized in the mornings, I don't believe. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Y'all will be okay because we gotta get our daily bread in. So y'all hang in there with me so I can get me some coffee in me. No coffee this morning. I did get up and drink a bottle of water first. I know that light is awfully bright, but we're going to have to deal with that for just one second. That's my kitchen light. It's always like that in here. Ugh. Yeah, I uh, got up and drank me a bottle of water. I slept so good last night. I missed the storm. And uh, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> okay. Here you go with my cream on my uh, almond jug and nuts. <laughs> yeah, get that a good shape. Might not even need no sugar in here. Let me see. Nah, I doubt that. Yeah, let me get put one little old spoon in here. Where my sugar? I'm put one. I don't know why. So, oh yeah, I put some in them green beans yesterday. I'm like, why is my sugar all the way over there? And it usually be right here. And ain't nobody did it but me. Two. That's gonna be enough. It got to be something up sweet, y'all. I got to cut back. My feet was kind of swollen up. No, they weren't sore. It was just some fluid. Thursday is coming. My leg is doing fine. Somebody asked, hey, sugar, thanks for asking about my leg. Okay, I'm trying not to spill this coffee on my carpet. Okay, I'm coming over here. I'm going to make it, y'all. 
<laughs> I'm trying not to. I didn't spill it now. If I get it on that madness spill, I don't care. All right, now. I'm going to put my groceries up in a second. Okay, here go our daily bread. And let me spin this chair around. Hey, birds, I'm going to come feed y'all a little bit. And let me shut my door. Y'all, it's been a busy, busy, busy couple of last couple of days. But um, I got some news I want to share with y'all. I don't know if y'all know or y'all heard already. That's why I got my TV on back there because I got the, I know the TV is distracting y'all, but sometimes you got to keep up with what's going on in the world. And I know y'all done heard about that earthquake over there in California. What, seven point something, one cracks all in the street, stuff destroyed, fires and everything. Jesus is coming, honey. They had flood warnings here last night, but see, I woke up on this cell phone and all these alerts was on here. And then they had an aftershock. Oh, my Lord. Y'all pray for them people over there in California. They said they felt it from far as Los Angeles all the way to another side of California. I mean, they said it was bad. And there was so many video clips that was on the news this morning. I could just look, I could just look like this. That's it. And then I was on a live with someone, and I was letting them know, honey, what's his name, Mr. Advice, Male Advice, Mr. Male Advice. I let them know about the uh, earthquakes and stuff, and they, you know, they didn't even know. But I said, honey, God is knocking on some doors. And y'all better open up and let him in because he can really come through that sky. And if we ain't ready, we're going to be left here. And I, I'm not going to be left here. I'm back, Jesus. Uh -uh. I ain't going nowhere, no way. It's just that, you know, sometimes things will come up or in your life. You just think, you feel sometimes God might not be there for you. But God is always there for you. Don't never give up. You know, go ahead and woosah and do whatever it is you have to do to get things off your chest. But you know, you go ahead and you you go ahead and you put God first. Everything gonna be alright. It's a beautiful day to me. It's a little humid out there. But I'm glad God woke me up this morning. I'm I'm glad, you know, I got a roof over my head, got food to eat. God will provide. He will take care of you. Everybody just calm down and keep it hold it in the road. Hold it in the road. Okay, now this gonna be coming out of Psalms. Psalms eighty six and five. For thou Lord, our God, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon him. Call on him. I know I do. All the time. And it ain't going to never stop. Think of a grudge that you have held for a long time. Did you feel better for holding this grudge? Now think about this deeper. What if God held a grudge against you? Wow, how lucky we are that we that he forgives us for our sins. He leads he leads by example, forgiving those of us that do exactly what he asks us not to do. We all should we all should all be moving, be more forgiving like God is to us. Okay, prayer. You sent your only son to the world to die so that we may be forgiven. Merciful God, forgive me once again for being too selfish and proud not to forgive those that transgress against me. I wish that I I wish that I can sin less and ask for forgiveness and guidance when okay, move. Uh when I need it. I think you for sending your son to us, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. My baby was born dead on here. Okay, now let's get to the quiz. We do not belong here. That's a story by David Jacobs. Oh, yeah, we don't belong here. It's a temporary place. We belong in heaven. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you that's what that story is about. I would love to read it to you. I might can later on. Okay, now here's the quiz. For thou, Lord, art God, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Psalms. Woo! <laughs> Y'all bear with me this morning, honey, honey. I got out of here. I was there. I was up there uh, right before they opened. We had a couple more minutes to wait. And I'm going to drink my coffee. Then I'm going to get a hold of my oatmeal. Like I said, I'm going to put some raisins and bananas in it, some milk. Mm, I'm going to hook that up. I need, I need to get you know, get myself together and get ready for Monday. So, uh, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget, pray for them people over there in, um, in California. Because they have really, they don't suffer some losses. So, y'all just get ready for the prayers. Like I say, God is knocking on these doors, y'all. He's knocking. He's coming. He's coming. Lord, I forg please forgive me for my sins. If I said or done anything to offend anybody, uh, at my workplace, past workplaces, family, 
friends, enemies, anywhere in this world, if I said or done anything to offend you, I apologize to you right now from the bottom of my heart. Please forgive me because I don't want to hold no grudges against nobody. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody. And, and let's keep this clean. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Let me uh get off of here for a cut off. Talk to you later, guys. Bye now.